Each year at the Spiel Game Convention in Essen, Germany, hundreds of new games are released upon the public, and each year in the months prior to Spiel, I try to catalog all these games in a convention preview on Board Game Geek, being as comprehensive as possible, trying to catch them all, you've heard that phrase before, so that you will know what will be at Spiel. And each year I fail. I know I'm going to fail. I know this is impossible. I reach out to hundreds of publishers ahead of time. I scour all the media that I can. I'm just constant, constant watch for everything just to update this preview because who knows what's gonna be there and who knows what you might like. So I try to give you everything that's there and you can do with it that information what you will. But I know I'm gonna fail. So each year at Spiel, I travel the halls, going booth to booth, looking for what I've missed, trying to find something, anything. And I know there, were, there are new games there that I didn't know about. And so I introduced myself to the publisher and we talked for a bit and hopefully next year I can get them. Make that further step towards being all comprehensive, even though it's a step doomed to failure. I know that, I know that, but I do it anyway. So by chance at Spiel 2017, I came across the booth of Taiwanese publisher Sharppoint Publishing and talked about two games that were released only with Chinese editions, so there's a game of suspicion here, but they had English rules. And the representative from Sharppoint gave me a copy of Game of Suspicion, gave me a copy of Terror Shifters uh, to talk about, and now 11 months later, possibly not timely, but hopefully still useful, I'm now talking about Game of Suspicion, which will be at Spiel 2018. So this video still serves as a preview for most people, unless you made it to the back corner of Hall 8 and you happen to see that table as well. If not, it's a sharp little game here that maybe will fit your taste. One more little drop of information in that preview for you to reveal, to consider, before you head to Essen in October 2018. And if not then, maybe you'll see it next year. Here are the components of Game of Suspicion. We have 18 cards. That's it. Five zeros, five ones, one card each from two to nine, some point tokens, player aids in Chinese. Those are not helpful if you don't speak Chinese, but the icons on the cards themselves are fairly clear, and after a round or two of the game, you won't need these anyway. Game of Suspicion is a three to four player deduction game that's played in rounds. Each player tries to score points in the rounds, and when one player has 15 or more points, the game ends and that player wins. How you play is at the start of each round, you shuffle a deck of cards, deal four cards to each player, and place two cards in the center of the table. In a three-player game that leaves four cards untouched, you turn those cards face up so everyone sees what those cards are. You then take turns taking actions, and there's three possible actions in the game. One action is to pick up one of the cards in the center of the table, put it in your hand, and then put a card back. And if you put back a different number than what you picked up, you say you exchanged cards. Otherwise, no exchange. That's straightforward. Another possibility is to take a card from your hand, put it in front of you, and take the action of that card. That card's now out of play. You have a smaller hand size. You cannot play your last card. So if you get down to one card, you can only take one of the other two actions. The third action, and the way you score, is to choose a player and you say what numbers they have in their hand. 0013. If I'm correct, if you have exactly 0013, it doesn't matter the order I give the numbers in, then you reveal your cards, you're out for the round, and I score points equal to the number of cards in your hand. So if you have played cards to use those powers, you'll have fewer cards and I'll score fewer points. But it's also easier to guess because you have fewer cards. If I'm wrong, if any of those numbers is wrong, if you have 0012, then all you do is say wrong. That was my entire turn. I just wasted my turn trying to knock you out and score, but instead I've probably revealed information about what's in my hand based upon what I guessed for you. Let's quickly run through the card powers so you know how these work. With the zero, you choose two other players and you force them to exchange a card of their choice. With the one, you call for a particular number. I like the six. And if someone has the six, they have to give it to you and you give them a card of your choice from your hand. The one is out of play. It's now on the table. So people now know you have a six in your hand, so you better use it. With the two, you get to see whether anyone's cards sum to more than 10. If they do, they have to show you all of their cards. 
So they better do something before your next turn comes around or you're going to knock them out. With the three, you choose a player and you get to make three guesses for the numbers that they hold in their hand. With the four, any player that has a card of value higher than four has to show you those cards. Each other player sees how many cards you see, but they don't know which numbers you see. Similarly with the five, you're calling for even numbers. So the players with the two, four, six, eight must show them to you. Again, other people see how many cards you see, but not which cards. With the six, each other player must discard their lowest valued card face up in front of them without using its power. With the seven, you can't play this on the first round, but from the second round on, if you play this, anyone who has exactly two zeros in their hand is knocked out. With the eight, you put the eight in front of you. You then pick up any cards you've played. You pick up the two cards from the center of the table. You look at them, do whatever you, what you want, and then put one card face down in the center of the table. So you've now mixed things up a bit. Although if you've picked up cards you previously played, we know those numbers. With the nine, if you play the nine as the last card from your hand, you win the round. I've played Game of Suspicion twice now, once with three players, once with four. I initially thought of the game as a hidden role game akin to Coup because the cards have characters on them and you have characters in your hand. But no, thankfully it's not like that because I'm terrible at Coup and at reading people and at bluffing. Those are skills I do not excel at. Game of Suspicion is a straight deduction game in which you have special power cards in your hand that you're going to use to try to knock people out of the game. It's up to you to figure out when and how you want to use them. Some cards are more readily clear as to what you want to do. You play the two. I look at some players' hands if they have sums higher than 10. And then hopefully I can knock them out next time. They'll, of course, take some defense against that. They'll swap with the card in the center or they'll use a power or they'll try to guess my numbers first to take me out of the game. It can happen. But you know what to do with that. With some other cards, it's not clear what you want to do. Why do I want to use a zero to make two players swap cards? That gives them information about each other and maybe they'll knock one another out, but that just gives them points, not me. But of course it drives other action. And you want to play zero sometimes because of the seven, which can take out a player that has exactly two zeros in hand. So that gives you a reason to play them. I played twice. The gameplay initially was not clear at all. We're just fumbling around trying to figure out what to do. We also played with three players, which I think is not the ideal count. I think you want four because with three players, you have four cards that are face up on the side. It eliminates a lot of possibilities for what people can do and what they can hold. More importantly, once you guess someone, if you guess them correctly and they are out of the game, you get to immediately guess the other player in a three player game. And if you guess incorrectly, well, they will now have enough information to kill you. So it's, it's like an all or nothing gambit. With four players, you don't have that. You have more variability in how the rounds play out with you taking out another player and then maybe you guess incorrectly, but then things keep going because there's more cards and more hidden information in people's hands. It makes the game more interesting and dynamic just because there's more going on with cards going back and forth and more choices. With the zero, well, it's you two in a three player game. You're the only other two people who exist, so you two swap a card. With four players, now you may have a reason for why two people wanna swap cards. If someone has used a two against the other people, you may wanna have them swap just to protect them, to keep the other player from scoring points. There's all sorts of possibilities with this very small card count and very quick gameplay. So again, you knock someone out, you score points equal to their cards in hand. And so if someone thinks they're gonna get knocked out, they may shed cards, try to shed cards. Maybe they'll make an effort against you to try to kill you first. It's interesting, it's very tight, very compact, small package. Uh, the English rules weren't super clear, but thankfully uh, I have a Chinese exchange student who visited me and so she helped me go through the original Chinese rules and we figured everything out. And we'll see. I assume the publisher now has uh, more solid English and German rules for the publication at Spiel. One thing I didn't mention that I have not tried yet is that there is actually a 19th card in the game, which, although it looks like a 10, 
is not a 10. It counts as both a 1 and a 0. It's not higher than, than 4. It's not even. It doesn't count for the 2. It counts as a 1 and a 0. And so it twists everything around. And I don't think I am close to playing with that yet. There's plenty to go on just with that, that small card set and the gameplay that's present in the original game. So, I overlooked this game for 11 months. Maybe you won't. <laughs>